Okay, so we're considering how a consumer's demand for a good changes as his income changes. Okay, so you want to know that the optimal choice at one income, how, how does it actually compares with the optimal choice at uh, the other income? So what, what you are trying to see is that you have the demand function, which is uh, x1, okay, at x1 MP fine this is let's say x1 star mp there is x1 double star mp because suppose your income is changed note that there are no changes in prices it's only that income has changed and you want to consider it that how exactly that the optimal choice is changing okay with this change in income with this change in income clear Okay, um, of course, we are holding the prices fixed and we are only examining that what is the change in the demand that is x1 double star minus x1 star that is happening only due to the changes in income. Okay, well, uh, how an increase in the money income affects the budget line when the prices are fixed? Okay, so what what we'll do is that we'll try to uh, we'll 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 try to form uh, one budget line and see how exactly this is going to work. Fine, you know this is a record that I can never draw a straight line. Fine, so you have uh, you have say x1, okay, and you have say x2, clear, and you have an income. Okay, you have a choice of uh, choice uh, x1 star at say income level, which is uh, which is uh, given by given by m. Okay, and uh, this is the indifference curve which you have say i c not. Okay, now the point is that uh, suppose. Uh, income increases it leads to an outward shift an outward shift in the budget line okay so your budget line will of course move outwards when income increases clear so how it will move it will move like this so it will move like this note that this is a parallel shift okay because there are no uh, change in prices so this is going to be a parallel parallel shift so how is this affecting demand okay well earlier this was uh, this is the amount of x1 which you are consuming say x1 star and this is the amount of x2 which you are consuming say x2 star now normally what would you think is that when income has increased you would be consuming say more of both the goods that is you would be consuming earlier say you were at point e now you are at point e e1 and you were you were you are now going to consume say x1 double star and uh, <clears throat> x2 double star clear so you would you would assume this that uh, uh, you'll be consuming more of both the goods uh, uh, with an increase in income and do you know this that when income increases when income increases okay and there is an increase in demand for goods for a good okay then such a good is called a normal good 
okay is called a normal good see i have i have a way of uh, teaching in the sense that i'll be writing up an important points always okay so that i want that certain point should get drilled in your head whether they are simple or difficult or anything okay so these are things which you should be knowing okay so if you assume this suppose the good one is a normal good then when income increases the demand for this good is also going to increase hence for a normal good for a normal good your del x1 by del m is going to be greater than 0 okay that is it, it it tells you when income increases the demand for x1 is also going to increase fine and uh, well there could even be the case that there could even be the case that you might have a reduction in demand for for a certain good okay for a for a certain good with an increase in income okay so what is how will you draw such a curve say with an increase in income you have a, a curve which is say like this okay say i see two and you have this is the amount of this is the equilibrium e3 where your your ic2 is tangent to this pink budget line and you are say consuming x1 triple star and you can see this that x1 triple star is definitely less than x1 star okay so with an increase in income the demand for this commodity has fallen and such a commodity is called an inferior good okay so there is a negative relationship there is a negative relationship between quantity demanded and an income of the consumer and income of the consumer in case of inferior goods clear so in case of inferior goods there is a negative relationship between quantity demanded and income of the consumer so when income of the consumer increases quantity demanded of an inferior good would fall because when an income increases consumer would want to shift to a superior good why would he uh, go on consuming an inferior good always so this from my side on this topic thanks